Number 12, cock. Number 13, Burger King cock lettuce. <laughs> the last thing you want is someone's penis marinating your salad. Wait, that's the first thing I want. Oh, well, I'm sorry. What do you I mean you're this sorry? this is a specialty restaurant. It is a specialty restaurant. <laughs> I, every time I order, I specifically ask for the marinated cock lettuce. And if I don't get it, I'm angry. So we already did this. This was the yeah. gun. Okay. Yeah. Now we can leave. Got it. I'm just trying to remember. That's the button. Get right. out. No, I want to look around. Leave. Warning. Zero oxygen area ahead. Save station. There's a big thing. Okay, now I can leave. Oh, good. I had to leave on my own terms. That makes sense. Because you can't you can't be bossed around by a woman. I was reclaiming my masculinity or some crap that someone really progressive would say that I was doing. I mean, after all, you think that men are better than women. So obviously, you know, you wouldn't take the word of one over your own. Do I think that? Do you? I mean, this is the first I'm hearing of it. I don't know. I think somebody thought that. Who? Your mom? Yeah. I got him. Definitely. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm kind of concerned because I won't be able to hear him coming from behind. That's okay. You know, sometimes in life you just can't hear somebody coming up to you behind um, you know, and having you their way with you. You know what? stop while you're ahead. Um, <clears throat> I was going to say, by the way, actual question. Do you like being behinded? I could get behind your statements. <laughs> what were you going to ask? Do you actually... Well, no, I mean, this is a stupid question, never mind. No, I want to hear it. Well, I was going to say, do you actually think there's that many people left who legitimately, objectively think men are better than women? I'm going to argue, I highly doubt it, in Western civilization. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't think there... I think there's probably a couple in every group, like every very large group. There might be, like, one or two. Um, but... I feel like the the percentage of those people is extremely low, especially compared to non-Western civilizations. Yeah, I mean, I could buy it in, like, the Middle East. Wait! Isaac Hammond, you're not going to believe this. Oxygen levels are falling. Something's poisoning hydroponics air production, and whatever it is, it's filling the deck up with that organic stuff. We're not going to have any air to breathe soon. But if I understand these lab reports correctly, I think I can make a poison to destroy it. Head to medical. It should have everything you need. Will this never end? Isaac, get to medical and mix together whatever Kendra's come up with. I'm heading to hydroponics. If I can slow it down, that might keep us breathing long enough to fight it. Well, that's annoying. Um, I'd rather, to be honest, I'd actually rather die like some other way than like suffocate to death. Because, I mean, not being able to breathe pretty much really sucks. Yeah, you know what that's like, because you have asthma. Yeah, I, I do, sadly. Not being able to breathe is, like, one of the worst feelings. I mean, the thing is with, like, a s specifically drowning, once you don't have any air in your head anymore and you start to pass out, you kind of feel, like, euphoric. But it's... It just is... The panic you get before then is just not worth it, you know? Right, it's so like I'd rather die that, quickly. You're saying that if I can't afford uh, D-Rugs, that I should uh, reenact Jaws minus the shark. No. Oh. No. Oh, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> I'm saying if you're in a situation like this and there's no possible way to get the oxygen back, <gasps> you might just want to go the off, quickest get way. Get out. Off, get off, get off. He's handsome. What a new scarf. That's a head. That's a nice scarf. That is a head. Look. Is it Gucci? If I recall correctly, those things can rip your head off and take your body. Really? Yeah. That is so cool. No, it's not. What do you mean, no, it's not? I want to be a head. I, I specifically um, associate with this head thing. It's my spirit animal. It's what I identify as now. Please just die. No. I want to see it rip our head off. I don't. Which head does it rip off? Uh, our head head. But which head head? The top one. 
Oh, the top one. All right, you I'm mean the one that's the one that that's raised higher? Okay, all right. This is disgusting. Do you have any health? I think you're just, you're good. No, it was disgusting. I'm done with it. <laughs> Power rerouted to ADS system. Do I need to do anything with that? No, I don't think you do. I think you just have to go to the medical room right now. Oh, good. You drank something. I did. That's all I had. Good. <clears throat> so, we had something. Have you ever noticed how Isaac's butt looks wonderful in those pants? Um... I mean, I've been thinking about it the whole time. I don't know what you've been thinking about the rest of the Let's Play, but I guess... Good to know your priorities have been really bad for several hours of gameplay all the way up to this point where you finally made an intelligent statement. Oh. Really sad. What Don't a hashtag say. human hey, moment. Hey, here's what? the thing. If Wouldn't true misogynists rather be with a man than a woman? <clears throat> I mean, if you'd rather be with a woman, you're not misogynist enough. So you're saying that if you want to be misogynist, you have to be gay. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, like, you can't be a misogynist and also marry a woman. It doesn't work like that. What? It's against the rules. It's against the misogyny. Are you saying because... Well, well now, wait a minute. But uh, let me counter that. <clears throat> if you're a misogynist and you married a man, that would be exercising power over another man. You can't do that. They're better than women. See, this is a catch-22. Now, here's the thing. You, as yourself, as an individual Mr. Misogynist should feel as though that you're better than everyone else, especially other men. Well, I feel that already, and I'm not even a misogynist. I just think I'm better than everyone. Well, that may be true, but you shouldn't think that. Well, why not? Because you're stinky. Force gun, huh? I'd rather get the consent gun. I don't want a force gun. Yeah, that seems a little bit... Um, Weird? Yeah. Okay, so shop... Let's see. In our inventory, we have... Oh, oh, we have a ruby semiconductor cell. Oh, a ruby! <laughs> yeah, anyways, moving on from that, whatever that was. <clears throat> oh, nice, we did that. Okay. I'm gonna buy more ripper blades to rip your mom! No, I'm, I I just... I, 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 um, I put them away. I put them in the, in the, in the safe. You put them in, uh, I put the them hole? in the safe. Jillian... What? What is your deal today? I don't know. I just wanted to be funny. Can we not have a simple let's play session? Am I trying too hard? It? Yeah. Yeah, am I? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's not okay. I just, I started thinking about Nate's mom and I got excited. Well, honestly, total under, I understand. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're going to get no judgment from me on that one, but you got to settle down. Okay. I'll settle down. I'm okay, sorry. I'm trying I'm to have sorry. a fun time today with Isaac. What kind of fun time? Not the kind you're apparently trying to have today. Oh, nice. You never answered my question. Is misogyny alive and well or not? No, I answered your question. I said I don't think so, at least, especially not in Western civilization. I think, um... What the hell? Yeah, you know, this isn't to sound racist, but a lot of... Uh, no. A lot of the cultures in the Middle East are very... Um... They're very against women, a lot of their religions that they follow, and a lot of their cultures. So, and for the most part, um, at least in America, there isn't that much um, culture or religion, like, forcing that upon people. So I think um, not only are we much more um, able to do a lot of different things without those sorts of restrictions, like we're able to practice any religion we want, not just one, if we live here, and other such things. I think that also means that there's a lot of people who just really don't give a shit about other people for the most part, um, and are more concerned with themselves and their lives and what they're doing rather than, oh, what a woman is doing. Um, so I, I kind of think that in itself kind of removed a lot of misogyny, and also it's... We're kind of living in, like, what you would call the future, I guess. And a lot of people have become a lot more progressive, especially in America. And it just kind of seems like a lot of men these days, they don't really care about um, being misogynist. They just care about living their lives and um, being happy. <clears throat> no, that makes sense to me. Sorry, I was... <clears throat> 
listening to you and I was trying to look at those weird symbols on the thing. Yeah, they were weird, weren't they? It's like something's reprogramming the ship. But, I mean, I would generally agree with that. I think it's that way in most of Western civilization is fairly autonomous and focuses on the individual over um, control in a lot of ways, although there is still, you know, that control aspect of the government and stuff. I mean, that's not to say that, like, there's absolutely zero misogynists at all in America, oh, because there definitely probably I is. I can smell the contaminated air from here. It's spreading faster than I expected. I'm trying to isolate it, but it's not going to buy us much time. We have to get that thing off this ship. The chemicals you need are in the chemistry lab. I'll hack the door for you when you get there. Yeah, I mean, I just think in general this is not going to be a statement that wins me a lot of friends, but... Um, in general, like, religion obviously has gone back and forth in terms of... Um, in terms of that stuff, uh, but um, I would say that ew, Islam in the Middle East is also... You can't stand in the way of God's plan. The natural order. Are you... Are you blind? Let the rest. Oh. Was there somebody standing around? Weird. I didn't see him. Looks like someone has reprogrammed the door locks on this deck. And recently, too. I guess we're not alone here after all. Someone doesn't want you in this part of the ship. Anyway, you should continue what you were saying before somebody else talks. Well, I was just saying that I think in the Middle East, like, it's much more tied into the government and people have been able to literally interpret things however they want to in order to exercise systems of control and stuff, kind of like when the Catholic Church was in charge of most of Europe, uh -huh. where, like, it could be very used to, um... Control others. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty much the easiest way to say it. I mean, that's the thing, though. Um, it, it makes life a lot better for people when the religion is not super tied into the government a ton. Um, you know, that still happens in America, though. People still try to tie a lot of religions into our government. But, um, for the most part, they try their best to not, um, force control over people using the name of religion. Well, it's difficult, though, because the United States government was also set up with Judeo-Christian morals. Yeah. And if you just yank those all out of our government... Then you don't have any morals left. Right. Well, especially in our in our government, because it was designed around deism. Mm -hmm. You can say it wasn't designed around Christianity, and sure. Um, but a bunch of the founding fathers were Christian, and others were deists, and mm -hmm. uh, very few of them were atheistic. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> when they set up that system of government, they believed in a lot more than people do now, and... In order to now enforce that system of government and allow it to continue to change and grow, it's difficult to do without those morals. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those things where, like, separation of church and state is obviously good to an extent. You always need a little, oh no. Faith and morals in it. A little, I think. Um, even if you don't believe that stuff, I think the, the morals are good for people. But, like, as soon as you start saying, like, hey, uh, you know, in Leviticus it says this, therefore... The law is if you practice witchcraft, we burn you alive, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I think that's where it kind of crosses the line. That's where it's a little too far. That whole thing with the Taliban in Afghanistan, I don't think that you can't talk about these things, but who knows, maybe this will get demonetized because everything else does. Yeah. Um, the whole thing, too, is like when they were asked if they would have uh, women's rights, they said under, under the limitations of Islam. Which, in their version of Islam, then, for sure means, like, oh, basically there's no women's rights. Like, I think they've now gone back to women have to walk with a man mm -hmm. in public and can't, um, I don't know about driving, but I think they're trying to make them not be able to drive anymore and stuff again. Kind of like how, uh, you know, other parts of the Middle East are and Saudi Arabia was for a long time and stuff like that. So, it's one of those things where it's like, when people, when people, um... You know, I've said a few harsh things about that religion in the past, or at least the interpretations of it in mm -hmm. in uh, those countries. And it's like, you can't really tell me. Like, I'm sorry, but you can't tell me that countries that are, at the very least, using that religion to uh, justify 
hurting people. Hurting people, removing their rights, and... And some of their body parts. Yes, actually, there is a lot of uh, justification of mutilation of young women when they're born with that stuff, too. So, yeah, I, I completely agree. Like, when you can't tell me, like, that's normal and that's okay. You know I don't I think mean? it is. Um, <clears throat> so, I don't know. That's also why a lot of people are very jumpy about that religion. And uh, I kind of think rightfully so in terms of, like, uh, just in terms of a lot of the experience that people in Western civilization have had with that religion is bad. Mm -hmm. You know, like, uh, our first, like, <laughs> America's first big introduction to Islam on a, on a global scale was 9-11. Yeah. You know, and now I'm not saying that Islam, the idea yeah. is what caused 9-11. What I'm saying, though, is that, ew. Yeah, that's disgusting. It's one of those things, though, where it's like, you know, when all people are seeing is the bad examples of something, of course they're going to be afraid of it. Yeah. You know, that's what I'm saying. There's and something next to you. Still? That thing is still alive? Yeah. Um, yeah, I completely agree with you, and I, I think it's, it's wrong. I, I mean, here's the thing, though, governments need rules, but I think it's wrong when you've imposed so many rules like that on people that just takes away all of their freedoms and their, um, ways of life. You know, that's, I mean, the... I'm dead. Oh my. I know the American government isn't the most perfect thing in the world, but, like, I can go outside and... I can go outside without a man. I can talk to anyone I want because I'm not um, forced to have my mouth shut. I could drive if I want to. I can go anywhere I want um, and do almost anything I want aside from, like, you know, killing someone, which right. is Criminal wrong. Activity, yeah. yeah. And it's like, I don't understand why some people argue that... Uh, some of these really extreme things, like what they're kind of doing in Afghanistan right now, is somehow okay, simply because it's, like, hidden behind a religion. Well, I mean, a lot of their... I don't think people are arguing that. What they're arguing is that these are extremists and extreme versions of that religion. Like, they're, they're zealots who have hijacked that religion. But all I'm saying is that if you read the Quran, which I have... Mm -hmm. um, it is an extremely easy to hijack piece of literature because of how it's written brutal it is in certain uh, in many circumstances mm -hmm. in terms of like rules and things that have not been replaced or retconned because like the Bible was very uh, very retconned by Christian or I'm sorry yeah by like the Christian interpretation of like you know jesus of nazareth and all this stuff in mm. terms of old by the way i think that's what i had to do i just had to eliminate it very quickly oh, that makes sense. before i could put out all these weird things yeah um, they they made it more of a modern version well, of the bible i mean when jesus of nazareth was on earth which he was like there is historical evidence and um actual people who claimed, oh no, he was real when they were not believers of the faith. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, people in the Roman Empire mm -hmm. with written documents saying, like, yeah, Jesus of Nazareth is alive and walking around, blah, blah, blah. Where, like, mm -hmm. it'd be some ridiculously stupid mass conspiracy for them to all fake. When he came, um... What, no matter what you believe, if you're a Christian and he was the Messiah, or you're not a Christian and he was a man... His teachings really influenced that religion to tone down, mm -hmm. uh, to tone down violence, to move more towards um, peacefulness, mm -hmm. and to move more towards the idea of turning the other cheek, of fighting for defense, not for attack, all that stuff. Yeah, and he kind of cleared things up for a lot of people. Yes, but and the, I mean... The Curon didn't get... Um, anybody to clear those things up and say, hey... You're close to the chemistry station. Once you get the chemicals, you're also going to need a DNA sample of the alien tissue. I'll search the records for one. Maybe you shouldn't, um, you know, be shopping women's places off. No, well, the difference is that a lot of, um, a lot of the... 
when Christianity happened and started to spread, it was seen as a cult, actually, by the uh, Jewish people because mm -hmm. it was an offshoot of their religion. But it spread so rapidly and so fast that it became its own established thing. Whereas with um, with Islam, whenever there has been a branch that kind of moves off like the Shias and the Sunni and things like that, mm -hmm. what they end up doing is fighting and killing each other mm -hmm. uh, a ton because it, it is seen as heresy and no one group is big enough to be the sole interpretation. So you'll have these one, uh, people who interpret it very peacefully, mm -hmm. you know, the religion of peace, and then you'll have these people who interpret it very violently, mm -hmm. and there's no one established group canon that is seen as the thing. Yeah, whereas, there's a lot of different groups of it. Whereas with Christianity, there's all this um, gray area, right? Uh -huh. But there's generals people agree on, like, don't kill. Well, don't do this, don't do that, out of... And there were still people who manipulated it, like the Catholic Church or the Crusades and stuff, but... I'm saying that in recent history, it's a lot harder to manipulate than uh, some other religions are. Yeah. You can't hold me here. Personal log, Dr. Charles Mercer. I now I have a live subject for my study. I'm Please eager to validate my, my tissue regeneration so theory. Initial restraint was problematic, but now the patient's resting comfortably. He trusts me, Dr. Kind. He puts his life in my hands. He knows his part in all of this. Understands what I'm doing. The forehead has been swapped clean you, and marked. What are you doing with that? And I'm now attempting to create a passage to insert the sample no, to no! That was messed up. Well, apparently, I mean. That's awful. I didn't like that. That was disturbing. I mean, I don't see a problem. The subject was fine with it. Oh, yeah, he was totally consenting. You know, I don't. Uh, I feel like people are going to listen to this and think that you, we are trying to say, like, Christianity is, like, the best religion in the world and that's nobody else's matters and that's all bad or something. I don't care. But, like... People, people can assume that if they want to. No one said that. That is not really what we're saying. I'm, like, know. so done, Jill, with, like, the... These people are going to interpret what I said this way, so, like, I need to pander my ass off to them and, like re-explain it 50 times like yeah. if you really want to read into everything everyone says as like some kind of villainous trope about they're evil and you're not go for it but at the end of the day most people don't think that way including us yeah that's pretty ridiculous your fight for survival is admirable but pointless uh, and yet you keep on going it almost makes me think that we had hope as a species Am I the only one who sees that we have died out a long time ago? We just haven't accepted it yet. Stop running. Stop your struggle. Our future, your future, the future of our race ends here. Allow me to introduce you to humanity's child, the children that will replace us, our greatest creation. I assumed throughout the whole game that that crazy doctor was, like, dead. But I guess not. I guess he's alive and well. That's so disgusting and messed up. Wow. Does he really think these are beautiful? Yeah. Yuck. What is wrong with him? That guy's sick. He needs help. So I was. You can't kill it, Isaac. It's just gonna keep regenerating. Get out of there, run! Oh, now you tell us after we used all our ripper blades. Is he big enough to fit through doors? I mean, small enough. Where the hell have you been? I've reached hydroponics. It's bad down here. It's really bad. You're not free. You got it out of the going everywhere. The eyes are stinging. But you're seeing things. Jeez. 
Oh my, okay, well, there's a lot of this. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think anyone... Oh, jeez. I don't think it would be... Whatever, I cannot figure out how to get rid of these things without doing that at this point. Um, no, nah, no one said that, Joe. Yeah. I mean, I know you know that, but... Yeah. I'm just saying, like, it's so exhausting to have to... You know what I mean? Yeah. And to have people constantly manipulating your words. It's, like, really dumb. 